Hello, how are you? I am making a video today to show how I take the whole AO schedule and schedule it by the day. Um, if you are on Ambleside Online or teaching using it and a little overwhelmed, I'm hopeful some of my tricks might help you. Um, the list from the website comes like this. This is for you too. And you can see we've got a whole week right here. And it can be a little overwhelming um, for some people to try to strip this down to a daily schedule. And Ambleside Online does not do that for you because they know that all homeschool families have different um, schedules and lives and things that they have to do. So they give you the whole week and you do it how you want. So I thought I would be able to help a little bit. Um, I just want to make a note. I am not a Charlotte Mason purist, if you will. Um, I do not do the entire Ambleside online curriculum because for us, we needed a very easy year after our stressful year last year with hybrid school. And so I wanted this year to be bare basics, exactly what is required for our state of Georgia and nothing extra. And then I wound up adding a few things extra anyway because we do Bible and we do nature study and we do artist study and things like that. But we'll talk about those at another point. Um, I'm going to apologize for the lighting. This is the only room I could record in today that was not full of noise. So I'm currently in my bedroom which has horrible lighting because the ceilings are so tall. Um, so I apologize for that hopefully you can get around that and <laughs> can still watch this. With all that said, I'll get started. First, this part of the video, before I switch cameras, I thought I'd show you some of the supplies that I am using. First of all, you need your term that you are in in Ambleside Online printed out. This is on their website. You know, print it out, white out whatever you don't want. That's what I've done here is this whole row is whited up. You'll need that first. Second, you will need some sort of something to put your schedule in. So for us, we're using composition notebooks. This is my year two student's composition notebook. Just a simple composition notebook. Um, I had a child interrupt me because they're children. And that's what they do. So we just finished showing you the composition notebook. Sorry, I have to get my train back on the track. The next thing you're going to need is obviously some sort of whiteout. We have this cute little whiteout tape cloud thing that came from Wish, but um, you can use any kind of liquid paper type product. You'll need something like that because trust me, mistakes happen. Um, you will need some sort of highlighters, maybe. These are just the things I use. I've tried several things and I'll show you. A regular writing pen that writes however you like. My fun stuff Glitter markers from the dollar store. Yes, these actually write liquid with glitter in them. They're awesome. Just for little fun touches. And then a friend of mine, another homeschooling mom, showed me these amazing pens. These are Pilot Erasable Friction Ball Pens. And I think the size they write is 0 .07. These erase so much better than pencils. I don't know, like... I don't like that pencils have little dust when you erase. These are way better. There's no dust. My erasers are barely touched. Like, they're amazing. Um, I was told if you leave them out in the heat, the ink will disappear. Not exactly sure what that means. Haven't tried it because these stay with me all the time because I love them so much. And look at all the colors. I bought the pack with tons of colors. There's one missing that is in my Bible. These are all for school. Usually I pick two. Um, one for morning time, which is usually this one, and one for our daily must-get-done stuff, which is usually this one. I forgot the monitor is on. Let me turn that off so we're not interrupted again. Sorry about that. Okay, so, do not know what my light just did, but okay. So with that all said, I am going to now record what it is that I do, be a different camera hopefully better lighting and you will get to see all that with voiceover and if I do a good enough job I'm going to try to put captions on this but no promises. So as I said the lighting's terrible I apologize for that and I'm filming on my bed which is 
not made because that's life in our house. So let me show you how I did the first week. Um, my child learned last year when we were schooling that she likes to highlight things as she finishes. So this was not going to work for us because I can't keep track of what day we did what or any of that. So that was not working. Um, so what I do is I write out the morning time stuff at the top. This is the stuff we do every day. And then I write out each subject that we're required to work on in school for the day. And then I put next to it the titles of each thing so that I know what we are doing. At the bottom I write a cute little note and free reading goes in the side. And then we fill in the date at the top. So we've done this for the whole week. We have a three to four day school week depending on the week. And then we have a homeschool enrichment on Friday co-op on some days as well so here you can see we've done all of it she has to write in what poem we did now we added that last week and then we've got co-op and co-op we do a daily temperature chart where we have to fill that in so i write a note there this day we had tea time hence the cute little teacup some of these didn't get highlighted because we did something else instead although that should have been highlighted i'm not really sure why it wasn't so, this was the one for Thursday, which didn't get highlighted because we forgot to bring my highlighters. So, I'm getting ready to do the new one. So, here we go. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is switch which hand I'm writing with. And I'm going to put the day at the top, which will be Monday. And I did that wrong, so now I get to show you how my erasers work. So I just wrote this. It's not even dry yet. Look at this magic. Do you see that? Like you can hardly even tell where that was. It's amazing. So see, everybody makes mistakes. We just all need good erasers. Okay, so this should say day 15 because that's what day of school we are on on Monday. And that will be Monday. And then right here we write the date. Okay, so there's that. That part's finished. All right, then our morning time stuff will go here. I'm not going to write that for you, but I do need to count how many lines I need. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I need six lines. And a space. Okay, so this is where the morning time ends. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is write from this list. So we do history. We have, we incorporate natural history as part of history because I found just this was not quite enough. Like, for example, we're on week four. We have no trial and triumph to read. Um, so that means we have this and this for history, and I need to fill three days of history. And literature. We'll have, we'll have Parables from Nature, we'll have Pilgrim's Progress, and Understood Betsy. And those are those subjects. So I'm going to write these in. We have history. We have math. We have science. We have literature. And we have handwriting. Because... While handwriting is not Charlotte Mason specific, our hand our phonics rules in it. For history, I break these things here down and try to put one each day. So we usually do this on Monday, this on Tuesday, and this on Wednesday. That's just how I do it. Obviously, if you had um, an island story, you would add that in for a fourth day. The natural history is pretty short little story, so we might listen to that in the car and do Trial and Triumph at home. So this is Child's History of the World. And then I would write in our math. Science for us is either nature study um, or we're doing a bird's study um, using living books and things like that. So that 
literature. This is our other Ambleside Online thing. So I'm just going to pick one of those things. I'm going to probably do Parables from Nature this day. Actually, let's do Pilgrim's Progress because we're actually doing Little Pilgrim's Progress. So we're going to do Chapter 1 because it's short. And we need to revisit it. So that is how I do that. And so then for the next day, I would do the same thing. But instead of writing Child's History of the World, I would put half of Chapter 2 for Little Duke. And then the next day, instead of writing that, since that's already done, I would put Burgess Animal Book, Chatterer, and Happy Jack. That's kind of how it goes. And I can show you how I did this for last week. Here's last week's. For history, we did Child's History of the World, Getting a Start, which was right here. And then on day two, half of chapter two of Little Duke. And there it is right there, marked through with a pen. Then we did Long-Legged Cousins. We actually did this in the car the next day, but there's that. And here it is here. And then what I do with this is I obviously mark through it so I know we finished it. So I'll show you literature as well. So here we have Gentlemen of Verona, which we finished. Okay. And the next one we did Parables from Nature, Knowledge Not Limited Belief, which was here. And then we had Understood Betsy Chapter 2 for the next day. So there it is right there and here it is right here so that's how we do it hopefully that's helpful for you